Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing the black history reading for this, this morning. I picked Lida Newman. She was a remarkable black inventor who is petitioned for the first hairbrush with synthetic bristles. She was the third black woman who ever received a patient. She was also known for the activism in the women's voting rights movement in the early 20th century. Lida Newman was born in Ohio sometime between 1865 and 1885. Little is known of Newman's personal life because women, especially black women, were treated with disregard at the time. However, census records show that she has spent most of her life living in New York City and working as a hairdresser. And we all know what hairdressers are. Newman, Newman's decision to improve the design of the hairbrush to drive from her own experience as a black woman and as a hairdresser. She wanted the process of brushing hair to be more uh, hygienic and efficient. Most brushes at the time were made using animal hair, but the material was way too soft to be effectively treating thicker texture hair of African-American hair. Newman used synthetic fibers, like the brush that we have now, which were more durable and easier to clean. The brush contained evenly spaced rows of bristles with the open slots to clear debris away from your hair into the recess of compartment. The, the back could be open with a button and for cleaning out the compartment. Newman received a patient for her invention in November the 15th of 1898. Lida Newman's invention changed the hair care industry by making hairbrushes less expensive and easier for manufacturing. She paved the way for two other black inventors, revolutionized hair care, and created the in an industry. These women were Sarah Bree Love, Mac Williams Walker, as known as Madam C.J. Walker, and Marjorie Joyner. Beyond inventing, Newman was also recognized for her involvement in the women's suffrage movement in the early 20th century. She was the key organizer of the black branch of the women suffrage, I'm sorry, suffrage party, which was trying to give the women the legal right to vote. Thank you. Good afternoon, CUC. I'm Amaya Hayes, and I will be assisting with our black history facts today. Right now, Minister Carter is going into character as our own Miss Grandma Fifi. Grandma Fifi loves the Lord, but at times can get a little mixed up with reality. She's a fun, loving person with lots of humor, and she loves the Lord. I will be assisting her as she gives us a few facts about our leaders of the black history. Please give a hand for Grandma Fifi. Thank y'all so much, baby. I just thanks the Lord for being here today. You know, the Lord been so good to me. He been better to me than I been to myself. He showed us, baby. And I just thanks God for everybody in here today. Uh, y'all know what? God is just so good to me. He's so good. You know, I'm not, sometimes it make me want to say, I'm coming home in a Hyundai. Praise God. Coming home in a Hyundai. I like that song. Remember that song, y'all? I'm going to tell you how good God's been. Well, come on, y'all. I'm going to tell you how good God been. Come on, y'all. Well, the weather. All right. I ain't going to say it no more. She don't want me to say it no more. That's my grandbaby, y'all, and she going to kind of help me stay on track because my nerve's bad. You know how your nerves get bad when you start getting old? I didn't know that. I'm older than just about everybody off up in here because I was raised with Martin Luther King. Y'all know that? Yeah, Road Park. I know all of them. I know them. I can tell you everything. I can tell y'all some secrets in here today, but I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This is my grandbaby, and uh, the rest of my grandkids, I'm going to call them up one at a time, and I'm going to try to be fast. I just thank God for my pastor, Al B. Showhives. What, Alfonso. baby? Alfonso. Alfonso, LB Show, Albino High, whatever. He, I changed that boy's diapers. He know who he is. 
I thanks God for Alfonso Howard. I just thanks him. Y'all boy, y'all know that boy looked just like Alb Show. He remember, y'all remember Alb Show. Boy, I tell you, he mind me of Alb Show. He is a good looking thing. But you know, I ain't worried about that. Uh, don't get mad at Malisha. Don't get mad. I'm just telling you, I used to change that boy's diaper. Y'all know what? I'm tired of all these added holidays. We got Valentine's Day, Leprechaun Day, Martin Luther King Day, Burger King Day. I'm just tired of it. But I tell y'all what, y'all come here next week, I'm going to buy everybody here on Burger King Day a waffle. I'm going to drive dead off up in there. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm coming, baby. I'm going to drive dead off up in there, and I'm going to tell that lady at that uh, thing, I'm going to say, give me uh, to all uh, beef patties, uh, special sauce, uh, lettuce grandma, cheese. Grandma, grandma, all right. grandma. Pickles, onion, sesame speed bun. All right. All right, let's get on with the program. But today we're going to praise the good law for Black History Month. We're going to praise him. I tell y'all what, though. Burger, uh, uh, Burger King Day, we, 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 I'm through with that. But we do have Martin Luther King Day. And my grandbaby, where my grandbaby at that's going to do that Martin Luther King right Day? Why she? Oh, yeah, come on, baby. She going to do it because the other little gal didn't come today. Come on, baby. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929 through April 4, 1968. Was an American Christian minister, activist, and a political philosopher was one of the most prominent leaders in the civil rights movement in 1955 until his assassination in 1968. A black church leader and a son of early civil rights activist and minister Martin Luther King Jr., King advanced civil rights for people of colors and the United States through the use of nonviolent resistance and nonviolent civil disobedience against Jim Crow laws and other forms of legalized discrimination. Well, y'all give that gal a hand. She did that. I tell you, I got some smart babies over here. Y'all know what Martin Luther King did? He had a dream. Y'all know who was in his dream? Huh? Y'all know who was in Martin Luther King's dream? I was in there. See, y'all mind bad. That's not why I was in the dream. I was in that dream. I inspired him. I sure did, but people don't want to give me no kind of recognition. But that's all right. I inspired him to do everything he did. But ain't nobody said nothing about that. I'm going to tell y'all somebody else uh, who I inspired. I inspired. I inspired Rosa Parks. I told that gal, I said, you stay right there. I told her, don't you get up. If you get up, I'm going to put knots on you fast as you can bust them. I sure did. I told her not to get up out that seat. She didn't get up. That's the reason Rosa Parks got her part in today's spotlight. It was because of me. Y'all give me a hand. All right. Read that there. Baby, Amaya going to read that for me. Read it, baby. Rosa Parks was born February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama, and died October 24th, 2005 in Detroit, Michigan. She was an American civil rights activist whose refusal to give up her seat on a public bus instigated the 1955 through 56 Montgomery bus boycott in Alabama. This event became the spark of the United Civil Rights Movement in the U.S. Parks is often referred to as the Mother of Civil Rights Movement, Mother of Freedom Movement, and the First Lady of Civil Rights. Amen. Thank God. Y'all remember that song, Wait in the Water, Wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God's going to trouble the water. Praise God. Y'all bored up in here. That's all right, though. I sang it by myself. All right. Speaking of wade in the water, do y'all know that that Harriet Tubman gave the escaping slaves? She used that song. To, to give them or uh, uh, to let the people know, that let the escaping slaves know that the uh, uh, slave catchers was on their trail with those dogs. And they would just uh, uh, get into the water where the dogs wouldn't smell them out, wouldn't sniff them out. My grandbaby don't gonna give you the facts. My grandbaby, Haley, come give them a facts about that, baby. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Harriet Tubman was an unexpected enslaved woman who became a conductor on the Underground Railroad, leading enslaved people to freedom before the Civil War, all while carrying a bounty on her head. 
but she was also a nurse, a union spy, and a women's suffrage supporter. Tubman is one of the most recognized icons in American history, and her legacy has inspired countless people from every race and background. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what time is it? Grandma, Grandma. Okay. All right. All right. The reason I asked what time it was, y'all remember that little old ugly boy in there saying that rap, that little black ugly grandma, little grandma, boy? Grandma, Grandma. I'm sorry. Not ugly. You know, nobody's ugly. Everybody's beautiful inside. But y'all remember that boy, Flavor Flav? Come on, baby. Come on. My next grandson, he dressed just like Flavor Flav. He got that big old clock on him. You know, the history behind that there, that Flavor Flav little boy, the reason he had that big clock, he bought that clock from a crackhead. You can look it up grandma, if you want. Grandma, yes, grandma, he did. Grandma. He did. That's true. He bought that clock from a crackhead, and they dared him to wear that thing on the award, on the oh BET award. Anybody see that? He bought that that clock on the BET award and wore it. Now this baby, he ain't gonna tell us about the man that really built the clock. Come on, Flay. Come on in here. In 1752, uh, Banneker gathered public acclaim by building a clock entirely out of wood. The clock, believed to be the first built in America, kept precise time for decades. Since in 1789, Banneker began making astronomical calculations that enabled him to successfully forecast the solar. Okay, give us the facts. Give us some more facts. He's going to give us five more facts. What are five facts about Benjamin Banneker? He was born in Maryland in 1731. He thought have to been largely self-taught. At 21, he crafted a, a wooden clock that kept perfect time. He struck up friendship with his family of Quakers. He assisted a project in establishing the borders of the Distri District of Columbia. Amen. Hallelujah. Give him a hand. Pass it back to her. All right. And my, uh, this morning, y'all, I stopped at a red light. I'm sorry. I got to go with the reality thing again. Uh, speaking of red light, my next grandbaby going to come up here and give us some facts on Garrett Morgan, who invented the traffic light. Where you at, baby? Why that other gal at? Yeah, go, go over there. You have to spare the rod, y'all, sometime, because these cheering, I tell you. Go over there and get me this spotlight over there. Come on, bring that on up here. Hurry up, I said you. <laughs> y'all still do that, y'all. Y'all take care of your business, baby. Come on, read it. Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr., March 4th of 1877, through July 27, 1963, was an American inventor, businessman, and community leader. His most notable inventions were a type of three-way traffic light and a um, protective smoke hood, notably used in a 1916 tunnel construction disaster rescue. All right, give him a hand. Thank you, baby. All right. Boy, we have some smart, get back over here before you get a whooping. All right, <laughs> speaking of smart, baby, we have some smart cheering off up in, this, in here. My next grandbaby, come on, Texas. She is going to give you some facts on Ruby Bridges, little smart girl. Ruby Nell Bridges Hall, born September 8, 1954, is an American civil rights activist. She was the first African-American child to attend Former whites only William Fraz Elementary school, school in Louisiana during the New Orleans school desegregation crisis on November 14, 1960. All right, all right, give her a hand. Boy, I tell you, I, the, God is good. I just have to run and tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Speaking of running, y'all, I ran so bad this morning until I just sweated my hat. Grandma, Grandma, you see. Oh, Y'all see what I thought? My next grandbaby, she going to come up and tell us about Madam C.J. Walker. The hot comb, also known as a straightening comb, is a hair styling tool that has been used for over a century by African-American women to straighten their naturally curly hair or kinky hair. 
It's believed to have been invented in the late 1800s by Frenchman Marcel Gratou, who created a metal, a heated metal rod to curl woman's hair. However, it was Sarah Breedlove, better known as Madam C.J. Walker, who is credited with popularizing and improving the hot comb for black woman's hair. Good job. Give her a hand. Women these days is known for a lot of spokes. They do a lot of spokes. Grandma, grandma, sports. Spokes, smokes. I tell you, that that girl just, okay, baby, I tell you. But she keep me on my P's and Q's. My next grandbaby uh, going to give us some facts about Serena Williams. Serena Jamika Williams, born September 26, 1981, is an American formal professional tennis player, widely regarded as, as one of the greatest tennis players of time. She was ranked one of the number one in the singles by Women's Tennis Association. Amen. Give her a hand. And then cheer Renee. Stepped in for other children that didn't even show up. Praise, I thanks God for them. Did anybody in here vote for Trump? Grandma, Grandma. Oh, I ain't gonna say, I can't say Trump. No, Grandma. I ain't gonna say it, but I can say Obama, Barack Obama. Did y'all vote for him? We have his friend here today. He gonna tell us, he gonna give us some facts about Barack Obama. Barack Hussein Obama, born August 4, 1961, is an American politician who served as the 44th president of the United States from 2009 to 2017. A member of the Democratic Party, he was the first African American president in the U.S. history. Obama previously served as a U.S. Um, senator representing Illinois from 2005 to 2008 as an Illinois state senator from 1997 to 2004 and as a civil rights lawyer and university lecturer. Give him a hand, good job. Thank you, Amari. Y'all know um, uh, Obama's wife, Michelle. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. I ain't finna say nothing bad, she just jealous of me. Oh, okay, all right. It's a lot of jealous people in the world, just like that little gal back there Grandma. that sang in the choir. Okay, uh, uh, anyway, y'all, uh, when, when we won, uh, Barack Obama, when he won, y'all know I played that song, Oh, When the Saints Go Marching In. It's a little gal by the name of Vanilla. That's my grandbaby. She gonna come and play her flutophone. Vanilla, you ready to play your flutophone, baby? Grandma. Oh, flute. Flute, yeah, her flute. Come on, baby, play your flutophone. We gonna go and sit down until she finished, and then we gonna march in. That's gonna be the end.
All right, what y'all thought this was about, really? Get out of the clubs. <laughs> all right. So all aboard the Underground Railroad, let's take a ride on the Underground Railroad. If you pass go, collect your freedom. Although you may see wheels on this train, the actual Underground Railroad train was not a railroad at all. It wasn't even much a train. I didn't find this out um, until later on, but when we was introduced this in third grade, they didn't teach us much. So I know I'm not by myself, but you have to research for yourself to find stuff out. Um, I originally thought that Harriet was the only person doing this railroad by herself, but um, as in years, I found out there were actually a lot of more people in this. Um, not only blacks, there were also white people as well. So they played a significant role in this too as well. But Harriet played a profound homage to starting this train. But all sorts of people helped. Did you know that it was a crime to help slaves run away? It's a couple of things down here. I want you guys to take time to look at this. Because if you was caught, certain things happen to you. I don't know about y'all, but I know I don't want to lose no arm, no leg, none of that. Because I'm a, I was a runaway slave. And they will whip you, hang you, and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know about y'all, but I know, hey, if I'm going to run, I'm going to run. And make sure I don't get caught. Um, your family was broken up over time to time. Our ancestors fought a tough battle for us to be free. Yeah. Have we used it for good, or have we just let sleeping dogs lie? Yeah. So much has been given up for us to be here today. Take this time to come and check out this train and read about what each state did and how it helped facilitate our ancestors to freedom. It will share the good, the bad, and the ugly truth. Don't take this message in vain. Instead, get up and do something about it. So get on board, little children. There's room for many or more.